Hey, Jay D'Alessandro here with Debbie Dolro Associates Realty. I am here with brand new agent Shadrach Jean and one of our sales managers, Trish Markaida, or Trisha Markaida if I'm being formal. Patricia. Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go with Trish Markaida. Okay, Trish. Okay? <laughs> and so you've been with us just about a week and You've been licensed for a couple years, right? Right. Um, right during COVID, right? Exactly. So, perfect time to be perfect licensed. Perfect timing, yeah. So you've been on teams, um, assisting agents, kind of on your own, and now you've joined our team. What's that experience in the first week been like? It's been great. I'm a soccer fan. I like Real Madrid. Ah. And then, <laughs> All right, that's I, okay. Okay, as I joined the team, I feel like, okay, this is the best of the best. <laughs> Ooh, wow, yes. that's a good compliment, yes. especially if you're a Real Madrid fan. Too, yes. Too. How many times have they changed their coach? Real because Madrid? I'm your coach. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, it depends. If you're a good coach, they keep you for a long time. <laughs> My hands are getting sweaty. I know. Yeah. Did you get a signing bonus like the Real Madrid players? Well, no, I wish, <laughs> but, but, but the resources were, were equal. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. it's just awesome. I mean, just your personality in here has added a little bit of flavor to our team, which is great to have. So just in terms of the training process, right. um, what have you gone through so far? And what's right. been kind of interesting or different from your experience so far? Right. So, so far, it's been... Uh, it's been very good by learning how to speak with client mm -hmm. and know how to show client at home. Yeah. And also the most important thing, which is the contract to the client, is to be able to express the contract to them. Yeah. So that has been very important for me to learn, mm -hmm. and, and I've received a lot of training so far. That's great. Things. You're not a brand new agent, but Trish, you do help agents with onboarding from different careers or from being on their own. So we talk about our training to be like toe-to-toe, -to -toe, belly to belly. Can you describe what that's like? Um, well, basically, I want to make sure that you have an activity, a real estate activity all throughout the day. So a lot of the times, I think a lot of um, agents who are new in the industry have to really put their maximize their effort to be on par with the rest of the team. Mm -hmm. And one of those things to make that happen is to preview a lot of homes. So part of our training um, is to preview a bunch of homes yeah. to make sure that you're hyper, hyper local. You know how far this house is from the metro station. If you were to bike there, how long will it take you? Mm -hmm. Because that's the important information that I think a lot of our buyers need. Um, so our training really incorporates that. It also incorporates shadowing because we want to make sure that you get a chance to see how other agents kind of do their business, right? Get mm -hmm. a flavor of how much, how people do their thing. Um, and then we have our basic, basic stuff, which is the scripting. Um, we haven't gone through a lot of stuff yeah. yet, but contract presentation is also one because we want to make sure we present it the right way to our buyers. Yeah, that's good. So going through that process, you know, in terms of being next to agents and shadowing, what kind of shadowing have you done so far? Yeah, I've done quite a few. Um, one of the interesting thing in training, so yesterday I had an open house, and one of the people who, who came to the open house, she said, you are much better than the other agent that I just saw. <laughs> oh, you mean a customer? <laughs> yes, a yes, ah. yes. A potential buyer showed up to the house, and, and I was already putting into action the trainings that we received so far and showing them the most important thing in the house. And she said, well... You're much better than the agent we just saw, right? So it just to show that the, the training is really uh, allow us as agents to connect with the potential buyers and to mm -hmm. make them feel comfortable and to and to connect with them. Yeah. Well, to answer your question, uh, <laughs> to answer your question, no, uh, the training uh, so far as um, I've shadowed many different agents, and mm -hmm. each of them have a different way of of connecting with clients and mm -hmm. it was very good for me to see so that I can adapt that to my own style as opposed to just you know a box and yeah. fit that box or you, you know good so it, it's been very good. I think that is important because you can learn a lot of scripts and right. know exactly what to say but it is really the interaction how the pauses happen right. You know, laughing and connecting with people mm -hmm. is the most mm -hmm. important. Yeah. So, yeah. Trish, 
we've had some, you've had some amazing success or you've allowed agents to have some amazing success who've come into here. And a typical in Northern Virginia real estate agent or DMV agent, they're selling sometimes four or five houses in their first year. So can you just brag a little bit about some of the success <laughs> stories, please? Well, I don't like bragging, <laughs> but I'll speak with facts. So yeah. um, two of our agents who haven't completed a year yet have recently broke their 20th sale. So that's really, really cool yeah. to see. Mm -hmm. um, and they don't know anything about real estate. <laughs> One came from um, a retail back, both of them came from a retail background. One was luxury retail, so selling Gucci mm -hmm. bags and stuff, yeah. luxury items. And the other one came from a coffee shop. So having that drive really is what, what we need. We can give you the tools that you need to be successful, but mm -hmm. to us, it's really important that the agents have a lot of drive. So right now, um, at everyone's pace, we were averaging, averaging about a, a sale and a half. Per agent yep. so far. Per, so, this is per week, per month? Per month. Per month. Yeah. Okay, per month. So that's conservatively, right? Yeah. Like I don't want to, um, but that's the benchmark most agents have in our team. Some are struggling here and there, but that's okay. It's their first year. It's still um, better than what other teams are doing, I think. So having that month and a half is good. Yeah. It is. I don't want to measure success by just how many houses that you've sold, but I think it is that uh, maturation of somebody who's coming from a different career and making that change and being able to adjust to those things too. And we also look for some of the success stories. One of our agents who's in their first year uh, bought their first home. Mm -hmm. So it's just really neat to see that life change and what it does for their whole family. Yeah. And that is one of our core values is really to help agents get to that point uh, that they can buy a home and become a homeowner if they aren't already. Right. Um, some people are, and they're in that place in their life where they can. So, you know, to wrap up here, too, looking forward to going into, you know, the rest of the year in terms of success, one of the things that we have on the team is the lead sources, so I think, Trish, this is more for you to kind of talk about is the different pillars of lead sources because when an agent is getting into the business, that's really important. So can you speak on that? Yeah, so one of, our, um, one of the nice things about being part of our team as a new agent is having the Flex program. So our team is part of this program called mm -hmm. Flex program, right? Yeah. For the Flex program, mm -hmm. buyers who are looking on Zillow yeah. inquire about properties and what happens is those buyers get connected directly to our agents. So the nice thing about that is for people who are new in the industry, they don't have to really dig for a lot of leads. A lot of other teams make you call. Um, cold calling, this one is a little bit different because you are getting buyers who are ready to see the house. So that's nice. Um, and also you can get you know 10 up to 15 buyers who you get connected to on the phone um, in per just month. your first month. Yeah. yeah. So it's a lot of opportunities. So, you know, in the real estate business starting out, a lot of agents have like one, two, maybe three hopeful buyers or sellers. Mm -hmm. And if you're banking everything on that and one of them changes their mind or re-signs their lease or, you know, decides not to do it, poof, it's gone. But all those opportunities, almost 10 to 15 per month, is really important in terms of growth juncture for an agent who is scaling to get to that point. So. Sure. And also, I think if you take the average that we have, right, one and a half yes, per month, per month mm -hmm. that's coming from the 10 to 15 that you're connecting with every month. So you're converting at about 10%. And that doesn't include any sphere business um, referrals from those clients. Um, or family members who might be buying. So other opportunities in terms of growth for a new agent as well. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great to have you on the team. And Trish, we know it's great having you on the team for all these years in various different roles to help a new agent like this on board. So thank you for spending a few minutes with us and kind of opening our doors in terms of what we do.